I'm giving away $500 every single Vlogmas video. All you have to do is like this video, leave a comment, and follow me and 12330 on Instagram. Today's winner is Liana Slay, mama. And 12330 hoodies are now $35. I dropped the price, so now is the time to pick one up for yourself. I put the link in the description. Enjoy. I just got so many travel essentials. Um, I travel so much that you should really pay attention to what I travel with because I feel like I've got it down. Now, the trip that I'm packing for specifically right now is Miami and a cruise. But a lot of these are just needed in general. The Kiss So Wispy eyelashes are affordable. They're my favorite lash to travel with because it's not the end of the world if you lose a pair or ruin a pair. I don't like to travel with my most expensive eyelashes. Um, but they make a million different pairs of the wispy ones, so make sure the ones that you buy are the ones that have the number 11 on them. This is the best eyelash I've ever used in my life. Liquid IV. This is the best. I mean, usually when I have a couple cocktails at dinner or whatever the case may be, I like to chug a bunch of Gatorade before and Liquid IV. Like, I just always like to have something for that. Um, Liquid IV is really easy to travel with because it's in packets. Like, there's other things that they sell that I used to travel with. Have you ever had those super nasty drink aid things? They're like this big and they're this liquid that you drink before you drink. Um, they suck to pack, but Liquid IVs are so easy to pack. These aren't even for just purely having a cocktail or wine at dinner. Like, planes make you dehydrate. Traveling in general makes you dehydrated. I feel like I don't drink as much when I'm not in my usual routine as when I'm at home and I have my system set, you know what I mean? I got some travel shampoo and conditioner stuff. There are very specific products that I would like to not go without just because I'm on a trip. It makes me feel like my life is still together. It makes me feel like I still have a piece of home with me when I have my Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream or when I have my hair mask that I like. So well, these are very important. Obviously you can bring your own shampoo and conditioner. I'm usually not that picky with that. Like I'll just use whatever's in the hotel or whatever. Actually, the more that I think about that, I'm gonna pack my own shampoo and conditioner. Why be in the mercy of whatever they decided to stock that with? Especially if you're going on an Airbnb trip. I don't even care if you stay at bougie Airbnbs. You could stay at the bougiest Airbnbs. Why every single time is the shampoo and conditioner like, like suave one? You know what I mean? Like if you're lucky, you get like the Costco one, you'll get like a Kirkland moment, but usually it's like dial. So pack your own shit, especially moisturizers. You can pack your favorite moisturizer in this. This is so suspect for me to pack. Like I feel like me packing these on a cruise, like if I pack a couple loose ones, they're gonna search me and be like, ma'am, what do you need those for? Like that is sus. Um, but it's because I'm packing a gradual tanning lotion. Cause I don't wanna travel with my whole self tanning like mousse. I don't even think I'm allowed to bring that on the cruise. Cause it's like a plane. You can only bring little things and they do not sell travel size self tanner, but they should. Wow, not me coming up with an amazing idea. They should so sell that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack my gradual self tanner in this because this is travel sized and some gloves to like apply it on myself with. I cannot stress how important it is to have little baby mouthwashes every time you travel. And if you're like me, like I cannot deal with having bad breath or smelling bad breath, like it really skeeves me out. And I also am too lazy to brush my teeth like 12 times a day every time I eat a snack. So I usually like to have this in my purse to just hit those little like quick refreshers throughout the day. Like let's say you get a grilled cheese sandwich at the gate before you board your flight. And then you board your flight and it's a six hour flight, you're gonna be smelling like grilled cheese sandwich that whole flight. Like that would drive me insane if I was tasting that grilled cheese for six hours. For whatever reason, this is what I always forget. And this time I'm smart and I'm bringing my travel sized hairspray. I feel like everybody already brings this. Like everybody probably already has their life together, but I always forget this. And a razor, I will be packing my razor. I'm trying new ones right now, Gillette. Whatever. If you don't buy men's razors, what are you doing? I had it quite mess up with self-tanner. Remember in my recent vlog when I was trying the clear one for the first time? <laughs> Maybe it just takes a little practice because like, 
what happened. My hands like was all messed up. <laughs> like, hello. So I'm gonna be testing this out. It's been sitting in my closet. And hopefully this works. It is the Loving Tan Deluxe Tan Removal. And I haven't really seen the girlies doing tan removal as a part of their tanning process. So let's see if this is gimmicky or if it actually does what it says it does. Because I do need to get this off. This is designed to delicately and effectively remove any unwanted tan while priming your skin for your next application. I was expecting it to smell bad and it doesn't. Hi. So I'm excited to talk to you today about everything. I have a couple questions for you off the bat. So I know you said that there's a spot at the church at 1 p.m. But we're a little worried that between 1 p.m. and night, like what are we gonna do with all that time? We don't want people to like get bored or like for it to start too early in the day. Okay, and I know like, I won't hold you like to this number. It's like not official, but around, do you know around how much Susie's gonna be? Just so I could walk in there with an idea. Maybe. 10,000, 15, 15,000, maybe, 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 maybe. Damn. Okay, Susie is expensive. Yeah. But she's good, so I'll get on the phone yeah, with her. Let's talk to her. Yeah, thank okay. you. Have a good rest Thank of your night. You. Bye. Okay, T. I really can't get over how good this aloe puffer is. Like, I bought it for the athleisure video. I'm so used to seeing puffer vests that are quilted. So this Aritzia one that I bought for the athleisure video, I'm still blown away by it. It's like not quilted, it's just sleek and straight. And I'm so happy with this. So it is the last workout, like real workout I'm doing for the year. So let's dress real hot, end it on a high note. You know the vibes. I haven't tried this brand yet. It's a brand called Story, S-T-O-R-I. It looks like it could be cute though. These leggings with like, little print on them and it doesn't feel too thick. I've already started packing for my voyage. A sneak peek. I'm already kind of filled to the brim. But I want to serve looks on family vacay. Serving looks for your family, it's a little different. Because they can't really judge you. They're your family so you could really get kooky with it or not. I don't know. I just feel like being in your 20s and doing family stuff and dressing. <laughs> Fairy bomb rocks something about it. I wish it was a little bit taller. I wish it was a ball. I can't stop watching that trend on TikTok, the turning my mom into me. It's making me question my entire wardrobe. I'm like, how, when they change their outfits, do they look so different, like so bomb? I'm already like planning ahead for my life. I'm like, when I am in my 40s. Ooh, I like this brand. Okay, story. Slay, these leggings are so thin and comfy. Hello, I wish I was a little bit taller. I just spent my entire morning watching this video. It's like, I will never get that time back, but it was time well spent. Cute. Wow. Okay, I had been ignoring this workout set in my closet for so long, but like, shout out. Cute. Oh my God, you know what I'm doing later today? Remember that crazy facial that I used to get? What is it called? It's like a gua sha facial, but she does all these weird things with her hands. That snatch okay. it up. And we are going back. I saw this TikTok of this guy who did something similar. His looked a lot more intense though, like she was putting her fingers in his mouth. No gloves. Which I was like, who's man's? But I'm gonna do that today. Same energy. No. <laughs> Penetration. <laughs> Why am I so, like, I'm so dramatic. Okay, let's start this workout, yeah. These are actually kind of fun, because you like swing this thing back and forth and it really does one cheek at a time, which I kind of lit for. Like, why not really get in there? And then this is like a body weight. I don't know what it's called, but it's body weight, so it doesn't look intense, but I'm telling you, once you're on that third round, like, it starts to burn. My method with working out when I'm like not wanting to be present is I'll like cover my face and act like I'm sleeping. I know it sounds a little bizarre, but I think I do it this entire workout. <sighs> Anyways, these are more for glutes. All right, now I'm doing these side, whatever they're called. Again, they don't look intense, but on that third round, like it gets a little deep. And I'm ending today's workout with a glute burnout. So I'm gonna start here, do 15 pulses. Then I'm gonna go here, do 15 pulses, and then fold myself in half and do 15 pulses for three rounds. Oh, but we're not done yet, baby. Gonna do some double unders, which 
I attempt more than I succeed at, and some crunches to really fire up the abs before I head home, and more crunches just to really get in there and crunch myself. Whipping yourself, by the way, with a jump rope is a different kind of pain. It's horrible. And I'm done. That was like, that was a rude awakening. You know what it is? It's the crunches at the end. Like once I'm there, I'm just like, no, like I'm, I'm really okay. But I'm proud of myself for doing it. My next appointment for today, for this, <laughs> vacation prep is I'm getting my mustache wax. I like European Wax Center, which I feel like is the most basic place to get a wax, but it works. But I have a little time in between, so you already know. We're gonna get a $3 mystery meat burrito. Can't wait. You know I need too much attention. Yeah, you gotta go. Why did you never tell me you went to jury duty? Cause like who wants to talk about that? Like I had to go in a, in a courtroom with a person so I was like can this be Nikita Dragon please? Like this, this will be funny. <laughs> Pro tip, make sure you do this before you apply your self tanner cause I've made that mistake before once and it was not cute. I literally uh, watched them rip off my tan. Now this facial is very different than your average facial. Her methods are holistic with ancient Eastern methods and that's why there's a lot of massaging, reflexology, and basically this massage that she does is lifting my face and clearing my lymph nodes and it's insane. This place is called Royal Skin Care in Scottsdale if you want to go check it out and if you've never done a facial like this, I highly recommend. Look, I don't know who else needs to hear this because it took years to get through my thick skull literally all my comments <laughs> like on youtube videos and instagram would be like why do you keep getting those horrible nails and it was a lazy thing like i kept getting the ugliest shape like i would just do like square and ask them to make them narrow but those do not look good on every hand like especially if you're like me and you have like a little hand i feel like little hands do not look good with those heavy big thick shaped acrylics and I finally learned my lesson okay the best shape is almond and in my opinion what looks best is this style ombre it does take longer it is worth it and I feel like I finally fucking listened and like got a shape that flutters my hands so if you have I'm not wearing my ring so yeah if you have small little hands in my opinion this nail shape really looks the best. And I should have put two and two together when I saw Ariana doing that shit. Cause like Ariana's nails are so cute and dainty, whatever. I did them recently, they slayed. I'm doing them again today. Let's go baby. Okay, I'm gonna go through some of this PR before I head out of town, see if anything came in that I should pack for the trip. I'm excited for this one, actually. It's funny, because once you get engaged, you become aware of all the, like, wedding stuff, and the knot is like a big, like, place. I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a website. They really focus on weddings, blah, blah, blah. And they asked if they could send me a PR package. I'm like, yes. I'm just like, what could this be? <laughs> Ooh, a lot in here. It smells amazing. I don't know what it's in here. Invitations your way, hundreds of designs. A homesick Let's Toast candle. I really like this brand, Homesick Let's Toast. I think it's like champagne scented. 
Oh, it really smells like champagne. Never has a candle made me want to have a glass of champagne till now. This is great. My other friend actually got engaged. These are so cute. I'm obsessed with these. These are like the fanciest cocktail glasses. I might have to order more of them, honestly. Oh my God, they're from CB Dow. Not the not slaying my life. My other friend got engaged recently too. And I actually pulled up one of the knots articles on what to buy brides. It was a list and I bought two things off their list. Got her like a diamond ring cleaner and this like map of the night sky of like the night that she got proposed to. Super cute. So they do kind of slay with everything bridal. Chill pill bath bombs. Cute! Why is this like the cutest PR package? I mean, look, if somebody just got engaged or is getting married in your life, all of these would be great gifts for them. What else did they send? A journal? Cute. Are these lashes? They're definitely not lashes. Are oh, they matches? I think I'm gonna leave these in the bathroom because I saw a TikTok that this girl like carries matches in her purse and every time she poops, she lights a match and the smell is gone. So I feel like this would be a cute thing to leave in the guest bathroom. Cause like if you know, you know, and maybe somebody comes over and takes a dookie and doesn't want us to know. This is like really nice. I'm not sure where to put these batteries though. All oh, cute, a little picture thing. Oh my God, fun, they sent like a legit ass wedding planner. Wow, it looks official, it's like an OG binder. Wow, like it really is giving, I mean, business. Registry. You have the registry is something that I need help making. Like, do I want to make a registry? I feel like, why not? It's like a thing people do, you know? Let's see. Tips for curating your registry. Start early. Do it together. People tend to not buy gifts for just one half of the couple. Populate your list with things that you both need. That makes sense. Imagine I'm like on my wedding registry putting like, all right. I don't feel like dealing with this stress right now. The more that I'm like scrolling through this planner, I'm like, oh, I really haven't figured out any of this. That was a cute box. Oh, and I ordered some stuff off of Reddit for a different video. And I'm really just hoping the shoes came. It's not the shoes. But... Oh, it might be the bag though. If it's the bag, I'm taking it with to Miami. Please be the bag. It's the bag. Oh my God. Okay, I've been looking for a cute silver bag. Is this silver? It's silver enough. I mean, regardless, I am gonna bring it with. Cause it's a cute little shape. <gasps> kind of lives. And then, what else did I get? How am I doing like eight unboxings? Wait, this is so lazy. <gasps> I don't even wanna wait to film the other video to show it. This is really cute. Oh wait, and this is from Shiseido. Please be a good moisturizer or serum. Oh, NARS, okay, Shiseido or NARS. Ooh, it's a beautiful PR package from NARS. I love a good clean moment like this. Like everything about this is giving clean. No. Oh, NARS skin? I might have to do like an actual review on this. NARS skin, that's new. So they have a light reflecting multi-action treatment lotion, which I'm assuming is for your whole body. I like this packaging. It doesn't feel like too intense, but it still has some good weight to it. Saturate two to three pints of treatment lotion to your skin. Oh, so this is for your face. It's a toner. Wow, that took me so long to figure out what that was. They also came out with a firming serum. I like this packaging. It kind of reminds me of like a very oversized gloss and an eye reflecting eye and lash gel, a night treatment and a moisturizer. Okay, I feel like, I mean, NARS makes my favorite foundation. NARS makes the light reflecting foundation. And this is like the NARS light reflecting skincare. So maybe they made this moisturizer specifically to pair well with that foundation, which I'm really hoping is the case. So I'm gonna pack this on my trip and I'll, use it the whole trip and I'll be checking in with my thoughts because I this is promising for me and it's the most exciting skincare drop in a long time. <gasps> oh my God, Slale! I bought more boys lye socks and they came just in time. These are gonna be packed. Huge Slay. I'm such a simp for this metal detox line from L'Oreal Professional. I feel like I've talked about it enough times that you get the gist. 
But when we shower, hard water and things like that can leave metals and minerals in our hair and it makes it like, or makes mine look like straw and like nasty like that. And I've been out of my metal detox or whatever, it literally like takes it out. So I messaged the girl from L'Oreal like borderline panicking like, hi, send me, please, I need more. And it just came in. Um, but yeah, I'm not even like that into hair masks and the, like whatever they put in that. Like my hair actually becomes like soft and gorgina. I think Arizona is known for having super hard water. So maybe that plays a factor in it, but I know a couple other places have like really hard water too. And I think it like sticks on your skin and in your hair and it's pretty nasty. We did get a water softener, but I don't think she's working. I think we kind of got Chris by the water softener people, to be honest. It's starting to inch closer and closer to this trip that we're going on tomorrow very early in the morning and like it's getting real like we're gonna be gone for so many days and Loki I'm not done packing he's not done packing oh and I have to do self tanner for the trip what am I gonna have time to do self tanner at least my nails came out cute I'm excited to try this so there's a oh, there's a really really light scent to it and nothing too intense at all. And it's not a super weightless moisturizer, like a Tatcha water cream that literally is super weightless and it's not a super, super thick, heavy moisturizer like an ultra repair cream. It's in the middle, which is usually perfect, in my opinion, for makeup. Maybe I'm biased because I love NARS, but I feel like I already love this. Things are getting stressful around here, let me tell you that. I mean, if my room isn't the perfect reflection of my mental state, I don't know what is. Like, it's rough out here.